Initial talks have taken place between Digicel and Prime Minister Perry Christie over the prospect of providing telecommunications service to the Bahamas. Yesterday, Prime Minister Christie met with former Jamaican President and Digicel consultant PJ Patterson. We spoke with the Prime Minister today about what headway they made and where the government left off with BTC on those shareholding negotiations. Here's Janaya Noel Ferguson. At Monday's meeting with Digicel executive, former Jamaican Prime Minister P.J. Patterson, Mr. Christie said they outlined the benefits of Digicel coming in, but stopped short of giving any indication of an approval. They were prepared to assist the government in every which way on in any matter to do with communications, that they were entrenched in many countries um, not only in the region but around the world and that they are well prepared to help. Prime Minister Perry Christie describing Monday's meeting with Digicel representatives as very interesting stating that the company is hoping to enter broadband services into the Bahamian market. They've indicated that they would come in, they would hire as many as 60 people, they would set up offices, they would do all the things that are necessary for a company that is preparing to bid for cellular services. Erka received applications from Digicel, BTC, and Cable Bahamas for broadband services and approved Digicel's application in July. But the Prime Minister says that before government approval can be given, the application would have to go to the Foreign Investment Board. When asked if he was prepared to open the market for wireless service before BTC's monopoly ends in 2014, Mr. Christie said this could present a legal challenge. It would mean that liberalization would not come about for another 18 months thereafter because it will take the process of bidding, settling who will get the franchises and then having them implemented. It wouldn't come about. The Prime Minister also responded to concerns that Digicel may not be union friendly. He said he was not aware that the company has had union issues, but he plans to meet with union leaders to hear their concerns. And as for negotiations with BTC for the government to become a majority shareholder, Mr. Christie says those talks seem to have stalled. There have been no um, significant developments in that regard, and it is now um, the Christmas holiday. Janine Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.